Hey, my name is Mike Spinner and welcome to What's in This Box. So let me tell you, I had a old client that I made some skits for and he lived like an hour, hour and a half south of me. And he'd come up. He's like, hey, I want some skits. I said, yeah, I was wondering where you live. Bandit. I'm like, that's like an hour and a half away at the most. I said, why don't you come on up? Bring your helicopter and we'll make some skits. Did the skits for him. He was really happy. Went off and did his own thing. Fast forward to, what was it, two days ago, when I got back from Scale Heli Palooza 23, and I walk in after unloading all this stuff, and my wife's got that look on her face. What'd you buy? I'm like, what did I buy? What do you, what do you mean? I didn't buy nothing. She's like, what's with the two boxes? What two boxes? I, don't, I, I didn't order anything. Because I keep track of what I order. Because I, you know, I watch it come across the country like all the rest of us do. We want to know where it's at. She's like, what'd you buy? I didn't, I didn't buy nothing. She's like, look at the boxes. So I go and I look at these two boxes. I'm like, I didn't order anything. Was this supposed to be something for Palooza? Was this a prize thing? I look at the name. F.J. Galbraith. And I'm like, what? I have a window client named Galbraith. He's my sixth grade wood teacher. I don't know who this is. Then it dawns on me. Oh, wait a minute. Galbraith, Galbraith, Galbraith. You know, that sounds familiar. So let me go look. Go run out into the shop. Look into my past skids. Sure enough, Fergus Galbraith. He sent me a big box of stuff. And I had to fight my son off. <laughs> <laughs> we open it up. I'm like, oh shit, man, we should open up this outside. Because at one point, I didn't know who it was. But when I finally came back in, we'd open it up. And we're like, oh. I mean, there was literal angel music playing in our heads with all the cool stuff that was in here. So each one of these boxes weighs, this one's 10. This one's 11, almost 11 and a half pounds. Needless to say, there's some really cool shit in here. So... I called him up, and this is what my biggest fear was, is that he died. And that somehow his family members knew that I had made him skids, and I'm into helicopters, and I'm into this other stuff, and they boxed all the shit up and sent it. Because there was no note. I had We opened it up, nothing. So I'm like, oh, let me make this call. So I call up Mr. Galbraith. And I'm like, oh, God, I don't want to, I don't want to hear this. It's like, I call it up. Hello? Hey, this is Mike Spinner. Yeah? I'm like, D is, this, is this Fergus? He's, yeah, this is Fergus. I'm like, did you send me a couple boxes of stuff? And he's like, oh, yeah, I totally forgot. <laughs> I'm like, how do you forget sending two big old boxes of stuff to somebody. He's like, well, long story short, he's gotten out of the hobby. He sold the helicopters with my skids. So somebody's got a 212 out there with custom skids on it. And he's like, I had all the stuff and I just threw it in there and I just sent it to you. I didn't, I didn't tell you, but I knew, I know you can do stuff. I, you can use this stuff or you can give it away. You do whatever you want with it. I, okay. So now we got to go through the stuff. But I'm like, why didn't you put a note in there? He's like, I was going to, but I forgot to put it in. <laughs> so, needless to say, we're going to have an unboxing, and it's going to be an epic unboxing because there is all kinds of cool shit. I'm just going to open this up and let you look in there just on the top. So, there's a, there's a box right there. And you can see, right off the bat, there's an Align pitch gauge. And there's bags of stuff in here. And there's all kinds. Look, look at all these little nuts. Little, uh, oh, doodad from hell. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's pretty. Oh, look at a Starwood uh, rivet kit right in there. So then I go to this box. Yeah, that's the first thing I see in there is a Dremel and a freaking Vario uh, parts label and a tool. 
Needless to say, I'm fighting off my son, Jackson, and tell him he can't have anything because it's all going to be mine. But we're going to go through it. And if there is some extra stuff in there that we can't use or we have doubles of, I'll find somebody who needs some stuff. So, yeah, this is going to be epic. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so this is the first box. And there is some cool shit in here. And one of the things I really needed, you know, I've been doing stuff with that new uh, thing dangled freaking coal balancer well i needed something just to balance because my balancer somewhere around here oh this one yeah my old balancer look at it it's all chewed up i'm losing i'm losing pieces you know i lost this one right here there's supposed to be two of them i'm losing i'm losing my stuff now this one was really cool i like this one because the tips just slipped in there then i got that one and my blades bounce even better but then, <laughs> in his stuff, he's got this freaking this 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 is a this is a static balancer, but it's got a couple different things on there, so you can put some. It's got bearings on it. it it's got carbon fiber. It's really cool. But then it's got this little prop. It's got a spring loaded thing on there, and yeah, so that came with it. It's the little things that that drive me nuts. He had this uh, Dremel tool that's on a drive cable so you can flex it around and do it, but it's also <laughs> battery operated, but it charged right up. I like playing with fire. So, yeah. So it's all the little things, you know, like here's, here's some dry lube, there's another high point, a nice set of aligned things. So, uh, you know, it's it's little stuff like this. There's some big stuff in here that I'm not going to talk about. But <laughs> this is the really cool stuff. These are teeny, 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 tiny ass screws. I'm always looking for teeny ass screws. Aren't are we always looking for teeny ass screws? So I had some there and had a couple more in here. And some little bits. This is a Vario swash plate leveler that you know you don't think of whenever you are getting stuff from vario or something like that it's like eh, i don't need that but then when you get it you're like oh my god what was i thinking i should have had that from before little teeny tiny ass uh, the unusual shit here is you know a little it's like 1.3 millimeter a line stuff i've never seen this before and he had it. So there's some, there's some little tiny screwdrivers in here. Things like that. I We needed one of these this weekend. This is one of those pin drillers, I guess is what it is. Where you can put a small uh, uh, thing in there and use as like a hand drill. A simple 5.5 uh, wrench. It's not a 5, it's not a 10 millimeter, but it is a 5.5. Something that you wouldn't normally have he's got these um i want to say they call them dividers but you know you can mesh you can spread these out and then it keeps a measurement he's got two of them one was straight and then one with bent and you know a nice set of a dynamite socket screwdrivers you know <laughs> magnet oh my god these things stuck <laughs> I was moving around. He goes, clink. And I'm like, what the hell is that? Oh, fuck, they're magnets. Simple stuff. If you are ever going to get into uh, making your wiring pretty, you'll need one of these. This is a uh, servo crimp, connect connector crimp. And you've seen me do some, some videos in the past about making up your own servo links because you don't want to have servos wires you know going back and forth back and forth if you really want to do it nice from the servo to the receiver all nice and pretty you're going to make custom link stuff what brings more joy than uh some <laughs> God, that shrink wrap heat shrink for all your i mean these are tiny teeny 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 and they got you know four different colors five different colors of that stuff 
So this this is the shit that makes me all giddy. I'm like, Aah! and it just happens to be a Vario uh, bearing block in there. So that was the first box. And then you don't you don't think that you need these these uh, Exacto saw blades until you're actually doing some serious woodwork and you just want to snip off some stuff. You don't want to bring it over to that and cut it and sand it. These damn things will just cut right through it really pretty and leave a nice edge that you don't have to mess with. Simple little stuff like this. You don't think, oh, well, uh, it's just it's just a, uh, uh, a Dremel tool. This is one of those ones that you can unlock and put a new disc on without too much trouble. Simple stuff like this just makes me happy. So it's going to take me a while to get all this shit organized and put in its place. And then we'll see what's in the other box. All right. The second box is going to take a little more time because everything's in bags. And he just put everything in bags. Now, whether or not this was how he normally did stuff, it kind of looks like that's the way he kept organized on there, which is really nice. Because, like, all his connectors are in a bag. And there is a bazillion connectors in there. And there's a couple of red gears in here, too. That's going to be the, the, the find of the century is gears for your Robans. Ha-ha! <laughs> there's some electronic stuff in here. That looks like a, uh, that looks like a, uh, God damn it, a capacitor. But there is a shit ton of things in here. This is his box of his uh, control rods. There's some turnbuckles in there. There's brand new packages of turnbuckle uh, stuff in here. But here's a here's a bag of uh, zip ties and some more Vario bits and pieces and giblets. That is a oh a cross connector for a tail drive there's the little the little piece that goes in between them this thing right here is a, a gem to find because there's that red one and i can't i don't see the size on it without opening the bag up but there is the green one i know the green one is the one that i have to use sometimes um here's some you know there's some lube Hopefully it's not open. <laughs> nope, it's closed. Triflo uh, synthetic grease in there. Little stuff like, as I have one, but it's, you know, getting low. Bags of little parts. There's lots of bags with little parts. Here's his servo bag. This has got bits and pieces, bits and pieces, bits and pieces. Servo arms. Uh, a couple magnets in there. There's some spacers for mechanics. You know, this was you know, the bearing block. There's, you know, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Knick-knack shit that's going to fill up my boxes. There is a bag of some other stuff in here. This looks like a, I want to say that's a leveler, but that might be an actual specific piece for something. It looks like it has a bearing in there, but I don't know. There's, he's got scissors, he's got some, ooh, what is that? That is some Vario. Hmm, can't read German. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's some mesh right on front. He's a scale guy, so he's going to have mesh. A chunk of uh, carbon plate, some, some scissors. Uh... The, the, there's some there's some cutters, some wire cutters there. I'm not I'm curious as to what that is, but there's there's there's, there's some there's some stuff in here. There's a pair of scissors in there, like some stout scissors. So there's there's that bag. There's a 20 piece little wrench set. Actually, had two of them. Little tiny wrenches. There's some some uh, connectors and some wire. These I thought this was pretty cool. This is a electronic switch. So if you want to run something, 
that uh, has a pretty good output, but you don't want to run it through your radio system, you plug this end into your, your receiver, and that it's like a relay. And then it'll turn that on. I thought that was pretty cool. It's got a big-ass honking light down here. I'm sure that's why he got those, so that he could run this light. This is a big-ass light. Honking. That's going to light up the freaking night sky. Let's see. He's got some uh he's got some mixing tubes for on like the end of your um uh, oh your high saw syringe, you know, for epoxy. You can put these on the ends and squeeze it through and mix it. Which is in my opinion, it's a little wasteful because you lose that much of uh epoxy from both sides. But if you're doing a bunch of stuff and you got to get something epoxy down in there, you just start squeezing. It's mixed. It's done. You put it on. It's good. Here's the Starwood uh, rivet kit sitting in there. It's got some glue. He's got some. Oh shit! He's got some high saw. E e e o. So that's a that's a new one. I have to look that one up. Some of the stuff I have to look up. There's a bag of wire and stuff. Uh, wire connectors always use wire connectors and stuff there's the glue for the rivet kit there's a couple of uh things down in there i can't see but i'm not opening the bag yet another bag of just parts there's the align digital pitch gauge yeah so there there's a that's a big ass y connector got some velcro strips in there got a whole bunch of stuff in here that there's another one of those things and that must be a swash plate um, uh, leveler tool. So more little bits and pieces of screws and all kinds of cool stuff in here. Little tiny screws. Oh, those are cool. But some big ass wire. There's like a belt drive tail rotor. There's a whole, there, there's a couple turnbuckles I see in there. There is some, there is some shit in here. And it could have been one of those things where you just said, screw it, throw it all in there. And when you've got a whole bunch of stuff like this and you don't know what to do with it and you're done with the hobby, you know, find somebody who knows what this stuff is. He tried to, to give it to the club that he was down there and nobody was interested in it. So uh, I can use all this stuff in here. But uh, we'll see when I go through some of these bags. Maybe somebody needs a new rivet kit because I got rivets. And I got lots of rivets to do on there, as you all know. So I'm going to try to get this organized and see if I can find somewhere to put it all. Because <laughs> my, my tool caddies are completely full. I am eternally grateful that he thought of me. I mean, just he didn't. He didn't uh, tell me, call me, do anything. It just showed up at my door. Got me in trouble with my wife. My wife thought I bought a bunch of stuff. But So now you just got to get out and you got to build something with it all. All right, so Fergus did it again. He said, hey, I got some more stuff. I'm like, dude, fucking at least let me pay for the shipping. So we paid for the shipping on this one. I don't know what's in here. I have an idea, but I don't know exactly what's in there. So we're going to open it up find out what's in there. <laughs> there could be anything in there. Anybody need packing material? I got bubble wrap. It doesn't pop though. This is this is bullshit. It doesn't fucking pop. What the hell? Starting to look a little bit familiar. This is what I did with mine. <sighs> a little dusty, but it works. Nice. Nice little flag in there. Holy crap. I got an eye charger. That's a, that's a nice one, but this, <laughs> shit. A freaking Heiku. Uh, that's the same one like I got, exact same. In fact, it is the exact same one. That's. That's fucking cool. Let's get, I'm, I'm making a mess again. Got this. It has a remote. I'm not sure what the remote is for. 
Got a screen protector. Got to protect my screens. Come over here. Clean my screen. Clean my screen because these are freaking dirty as hell. I think I still have the plastic coating on that one. Got a bit of a uh, charger balancer deal going on there. The plug. Got, I want to say that's one of the, the holders for soldering and shit like that. And here's some more plugs and adapters. <laughs> oh, it's a 4,500. But yeah, we make these work just fine. Ooh, the most important thing, a freaking battery checker. Goddamn right. <laughs> He's got two 4500s and these are 40Cs in here. Damn, we'll be able to definitely put this to use. So, <laughs> thank you, Fergus. You've done this. <laughs> you're, you're just... I am dumbfounded every time I think about all the stuff that you have thrown at us and said, here, use it. Everything is in like perfect working condition and it will be put to good use. So we got a new uh, iCharger 406 Duo, which is a slightly bigger than the one I have over there in that one. But uh, we're gonna make this damn thing work and we're gonna put it to good use. If nothing else, when you come to Scale Heli Palooza, you will have a battery charger that you can do and use and all that sort of stuff. Like with the, uh, the little white 500 up there, we're getting that working, but this will go a long way uh, to helping some people have some fun when they come out and not worry. So thank you, Fergus Galbraith. And last, but I'm not sure if it's least, we're going to send me another package <laughs> in the mail today. Uh, let's go look at it. So, yeah, here's another package, just like the other ones. Ooh, this one's got a little bit of damage in it. You just got to love how UPS fuck shit up. So, let me get this open and find out what's in it. Open it up and got a holder on here so looks like a shit ton of dremel stuff that always comes in handy a whole bag full of it another dremel hmm something wrapped in a pink towel it's like a whole bunch of little tiny brushes for applicating some stuff a dremel <laughs> Ooh, but it's got a good it's got a good tip on the end of it. Oh, another USB cord. A whole rack of, ah, uh, god damn it. Little hex ends. And he's got the balls on them, so they're, they're good. He had a bunch of these dang things. I mean, this is like the fourth one. They're measuring things. So th this might be a little bit different. Uh, let me open this up. So these are actual compasses. He's got... Uh, things that you can put into the ends with some a little bit of graphite in there and have them draw circles and you got some you got some serious ah magnets 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 we love magnets <laughs> there is a pair of scissors in here that are just those are stout and then a little but more importantly is there's magnets <laughs> holding everything together we got some tape. More importantly, that right there. A little scale. And I wonder how. Oh, it only goes down to 0 0.1 gram. I need a 0 0.01 gram digital scale. I was hoping that was a 0 0.01, but this is a 0 0.1. That's okay. We can definitely use that. A light. Oh, it's spotlight. These little mystery boxes like this are always the fun ones. I'm gonna figure out what that is last. This is Velcro, used for all kinds of stuff. Got some brushes, I always love brushes. Um, yeah, oh, there's a liner brush right there. That will be good. 
right. being a painter or brush guy, I, I like brushes. So got another bunch of disposable brushes. You got a, a square mirror. Ooh, yeah. See? <laughs> I don't know what this is. See if I can get it open with one hand. Ooh. A pair of digital calipers. Right on. You got some sort of thing that can hold on the end and Oh, needs a battery. And a towel. Down at the bottom. Oh, what do we got here? One last thing. A little teeny tiny ass millimeter. Yeah, it's millimeters. Now, let's find out what's in here. Let me come over here. Because I I went to Harbor Freight. <laughs> so this little Oh, an exacto knife set. Here we go. Thank you, Fergus Galbraith. <laughs> All right, let's find out what was in the, the pink towel. Not exactly sure. Probably wanted to protect it from something. Or keep it from <laughs> getting grease everywhere. <laughs> little grease gun. Now, if I can get a needle on that one, then I might be able to grease my one U joint that they say grease on my Dodge. So once again, thank you, Fergus, for donating all your stuff that you didn't want to deal with. Because <laughs> I know that's kind of how it goes. But thank you for giving us all the stuff. We will put everything to good use. And it took me like a week to distribute all that stuff and get it incorporated into all my junk. Yeah. Oh, oh it, was, it was so hard. Oh, I had to I had to put all your stuff in mine. <laughs> But anyway, thank you again. I can't thank you enough. We're going to put that stuff to good use. And uh, not just for us, but for some other people out there. Uh, I know people that are coming to Scale Holly Palooza next year who won't have a helicopter or have a charging station or something like that. They will have uh, stuff in there and won't have to worry about it. So we all thank you. All right. <laughs> I would say get out there and build something, Fergus, but you just gave me all your stuff. So go out and enjoy your time.